Pseudocode for Quicksort. Quicksort is an algorithm which takes in an array and sorts it. So the input to Quicksort will definitely include an array. It will include the starting index of the array and the ending index of the array. So if we were to write the algorithm for Quicksort, the parameters we would include would be the array, say A, the starting index of the array, let us call that start, and the ending index of the array, let us call that end. So what is the first step in quicksort algorithm? The first step is to apply the partition. So let us assume that the partition algorithm has already been written and it is a function that we can call. The partition algorithm for sure requires the array, the start index and the end index. But what will the partition algorithm return? The partition algorithm will return the pivot index. PI is going to have the pivot index. Here I am calling the partition algorithm. Our parameters will be the same parameters that we sent to quicksort. The partition algorithm will rearrange the array and give us the pivot index which we store in PI. Now that we have a left subarray and a right subarray and the pivot index, we need to apply this, the steps we have done so far to the left and the right subarrays. So we'll do this by calling the quicksort algorithm itself on the left and the right subarrays, therefore making this a recursive function. So first, I'm going to call the quicksort on the left subarray. The left subarray exists in the array itself. It starts from the index start. At ends and ends at an index one less than the pivot index. Now I have applied the quicksort algorithm to the left subarray. Once this line of code has finished, the left subarray can be said to be sorted. So once the left subarray has been sorted, we have to apply the quicksort to the right subarray. The right subarray exists in array A itself. Its start index will be one more than the pivot index. And its end index will be end. Once this line of code has finished, the right subarray has been sorted. So when the left subarray has been sorted and the right subarray has been sorted, we can say that that entire array has been sorted. If you remember, when we were doing the quick sort algorithm working, we said that if there is a single element array, that array is sorted. So let us define that condition here. If a dot length equal to 1 or if there is only one element in that array we can say that that array has been sorted so there is no more work to be done on that array 
and the partition algorithm need not do anything therefore we can say that this can return this is the pseudocode for the quicksort algorithm